Hello and welcome to InstaBlogs Global Report. This is Sukhmani with fresh updates and more citizen voices from all over the world. Stories for the day are Opinion polls prove Barack Obama's edge over John McCain. New Zealand First announces review of immigration laws. Ex King of Nepal King Gyanendra asked to pay the electricity bills. The opinion polls have proven a clear edge for Barack Obama over rival John McCain as both enter the final hours of the longest and most expensive U.S. election campaign in the country's history. C.J. Prince Campbell believes the American voter is all ready to punish the Republican Party for their past follies. This is Prince Campbell, citizen journalist, reporting from the United States on Instablogs. The American voter, it seems, is all but determined to punish the Republican Party for their past mistakes. President Bush spent the last eight years of his presidency fighting the battle between good and evil, only to leave the office without any signs of victory. His administration's foreign entanglements have led him to neglect economic and social policies in his country. He inherited a surplus budget only to be spent on defense and tax cuts for the rich, leaving a huge deficit as the country entered into a recession. It's a very sad legacy indeed. The long election campaign has tested the character of both candidates, especially when the global economic crisis struck. Barack Obama has won that contest easily. His policy prescriptions, essentially a redistributive tax agenda, were fairer and more responsible than Mr. McCain's panicky pledge of tax cuts. Surely the Democratic candidate has refuted the strongest argument against his candidacy, that he lacked leadership stature. New Zealand First has announced its immigration policy, saying the numbers of people allowed into the country should be cut so that the New Zealanders should not have to compete with people from overseas for jobs. C.J. Byron Clark opposes the skilled immigration test since he considers skilled migration vital for country's development. This is Byron Clark, citizen journalist reporting from New Zealand for Instablogs. Every election, Winston Peters rolls out the same old xenophobic rubbish. New Zealand need not introduce an immigration test since without immigration, New Zealand would die a slow death. In 2000, Statistics New Zealand issued a report that without immigration, there would be more deaths than births by 2050. Further, New Zealand is crying out for skilled people to replace those skilled Kiwi shifting to Australia, UK and elsewhere following higher pay than here. Right now, many regions in New Zealand cannot attract skilled labour unless they search offshore. Multicultural na nations such as the US and Canada are succeeding. The former welcomes people from around the world that are talented, e.g. Silicon Valley has many Indian nationals one, making it an economic wonder. The US has become the world leader in many high-tech industries for the influx of people from around the world. New Zealand could not afford to turn its back on talented people who can help build into a stronger nation. It is repugnant to see our senior citizens coming out in droves in support of such statements. Nepal Electricity Authority has served 15-day ultimatum to the former royal family for the payment of nearly US $1 million of overdue electricity bills for power supply to the 22 palaces and bungalows owned by the royal family. CJ Mukunda wants the government to initiate legal action against the royals for the non-payment of dues. This is Mukunda, citizen journalist reporting from Nepal on Instablogs. Nepal's former royal family was the Nepal Electricity Authority nearly US dollar 1 million of overdue electricity bills. Nepal Electricity Authority has given 15 days ultimatum to pay the unpaid huge electricity bills which are supplied to the 22 palaces and bungalows. The company did not say exactly how much the king owed since the government has nationalized at least seven of those palaces including the main Naranati Palace which Ganendra left in June after newly elected National Assembly declared the Himalayas nation or republic at its first meeting. But Ganendra and his relatives still own many bungalows and palaces in Kathmandu and other parts of Nepal that have not paid their power bills. The electricity authority cuts off the electricity of common people if they don't clear the dues in a short period. But due to the power, former royal family has betrayed the country. The dues need to be clear soon, otherwise legal actions should be taken. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let Instablogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com. That's all for today's show. We'll be back with fresh updates and more citizen voices. Till then, it's goodbye from the entire team of Google Report.